HBO Max's The Last of Us is finally completed and well the show was good. Now this video we are going to compare Last of Us Part 1 the game versus this TV show and to be fair this show is a faithful adaptation of the game and there aren't like huge changes that could change the grand story. They might have added a few new things, they might have discarded a few things from the game but overall the story is pretty same. So for the biggest difference you would see the fungus, the cordyceps, does not spread through spores. In the game you have to wear masks and Pedro Pascal wearing a mask and protecting a kid that's too similar to Mandalorian. And even if that's not the case, with the mugs they cannot emote so they discarded the whole spores thing and added like a hive mind which was introduced and it came into effect at the end of the second episode and then kind of forgotten about. This is the thing where the show suffers cause the show wants to tell a very faithful story adaptation of the game but having changed that part they lost a lot of great moments from the game and there are a lot of puzzles in the game which didn't show up in any way shape or form and that was kinda underwhelming to me but overall that doesn't make the show go down for me. Compared to the game the biggest letdown for me would be the lack of the zombies. It's a zombie show without the zombies for most of the part. We get to see the zombies in the first episode a little bit. We get a lot of zombie action in the second episode and a lot of zombie action in the fifth and it was about Ellie and Riley with one zombie showing up and the last episode doesn't have a single zombie appearance. The gameplay where you kill hundreds of people or zombie as Joel for I don't know 20 plus hours would not make a good compelling story but showing a little bit was important. The ending of the game is where Joel goes beast mode but that wasn't jarring cause we have been playing as Joel in beast mode all the time. At the end of the show Joel goes beast mode and that is like he transformed into Super Saiyan. Like there is no other explanation. Cause he was the guy who was shown pretty soft, getting along people way too easily. He had a heart problem and getting his ass into trouble a lot of the times. He is pretty wickling old guy and suddenly he is a beast. Now the same thing happens in the game but throughout the gameplay we have been killing a lot of people. And if you are watching this video so far why not hit the like button and subscribe cause we are very close to 5 hundred subscribers so yeah do it subscribe moving on Bella Ramsey as Ellie is pretty amazing no doubt about that but if you have played games like Fallout you'd know that even a robot and dogs can be good companions and you'd feel for them and Ellie is a talking thinking human being in the game and the way the show is written you don't have those gameplay moments of wider Ellie so most of the scenes Ellie is being cocky to Joel and I'm not saying that's bad but I'm saying this could have been handled way better not going to spoil anything from Last of Us 2 in this video but now seeing Pedro Pascal being the favorite guy he is I'm not sure how season 2 is going to go with fans so that's all I have got for today and hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the like button subscribe and don't hit the dislike button no one's gonna see that so that doesn't matter so don't do that